Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to paint people and I'm going to use this mannequin as an aid. Sometimes you're halfway through a sketch and people go away. So they work fairly well. So to start with, I've put in very basic lines just to show that the body is halfway about the hips and the size of the head in relation to the shoulders, depending on the lady's hairdos. But it's easier if you're not used to drawing people to draw them with clothes on because you can be more vague about the leg. If you've got a leg showing, you've got to get a bit more shape. So we've got two ladies and one man. And I always start by drawing the shoulders. So I'm going to put the lady in pink and just put her shoulders in. There will be a few shadows. And I'm using Rose Madder here, but any colour that suits you. And then we put the other lady in orange. She's wearing a sweatshirt with a hoodie. And we put the man in blue, just so it breaks up the colours. He's wearing a light sweatshirt as well. Just move the paint around that I've already got, not add more paint. So we've instantly got the colours. So they're all on this occasion wearing jeans. So I've got some Payne's grey here, but you could use homemade grey. I'll put the recipe in the description. And just make up a denim colour. This lady's jeans are rolled up at the bottom. So what I'll do is rinse the brush off and just move the paint down so it's lighter. I'll uh, put the next lady's shorts in. And the man's are going to make a slightly different shade. So they stand out from his top. So without too much painting, we've got three people sitting down. So the next step is to put what they're sitting on. And I'm going to use yellow ochre, mix it with the grey I've already got. That I did the jeans with and just gently put in the suggestion of them sitting on a sea wall there's a top of the wall to go in as well so it makes a color that will allow me to focus on the people but it's it's a background you don't want the wall to be dominant I'm leaving gaps for the shadows because I want those to be a more pure colour. And it's just a quick sketch. I haven't put in all the details. I've just sort of claimed the space. Now I've got to decide what's behind them and in this case it was the sea. So I'm mixing cobalt turquoise and French ultramarine together to give a warm blue. And I'm going to use a bigger brush using a number eight. I'm just putting the sea in and it's a bit sparkly behind them. So I'll leave the tooth of the paper showing as though the water's got a bit of sun sparkle on it what i try to do is to 
do the big area first and then go in closer to the people. I've just given that a moment to dry and I'm now going to add a little bit more of the sea wall and I'm using a flat brush because it's easier to put the blocks in with a flat brush. They're almost very substantial blocks on the seawall. You can just make a better job of it. They're offset like bricks are. I'm going to now change colour from the homemade grey, add a little bit more yellow ochre, put in some different rocks, and just add a bit to where I've been earlier on just to separate it. So shape and form we're after. Then go back to the grey. Keep bringing the changes. So we've got the start of a seawall. When that's dry, I'll go all over it with a fairly neutral colour and just add a bit more detail. While I'm here, just add a few blocks further up. So the people are dressed in plain fabrics and by putting in the blocks, you've sort of broken up the area so it focuses more on them. So I'm now going back to a smaller brush. I'm going to use the number three and mix up some flesh tone. And in this case, I'm using Naples yellow and a zillion crimson. Just mix it up. If you haven't got Naples yellow, use very weak yellow ochre. I can use that because I haven't used those in the sea wall at all. So I'm just going to put the suggestion of a leg in. At this stage, no shading, just a leg. And a hand. And the other hand. And then her friend. Who's also got bare feet. And then the chap is more timid. He's still got beach shoes on. So we've only got his ankles and his hands holding his crab line. Now I'm going to use the same colour for the faces. And the neck. And he's got a little bit of a beard. So while it's still wet... I've got to leave those areas alone for a minute. What I'm going to do is just take the skin colour up into the hairline. Now the next thing I can do is some shadows. Now I've used grey already so I'm going to do the shadows in indigo just so they stand out more or any dark colour that you've got. And I'm going to change to a number one brush because I don't want to spoil the nice lines. So I'm going down with the shadow of the first lady's leg. And of her jeans. And the second lady. The shadows aren't all the same colour. Some of them have got the light hitting them from different angles. And they will be lighter grey, which for some reason in this instance is the case with the man. So all I'll do is just dilute it with a little bit of water. I 
and it is to do with the light because his shadows are much bigger as well. Homemade grey is good for shadows. Well, I'm just going to get some water and just this rag paper. Let's try and get a nicer line. It does skip over the tooth of the paper a little bit. And then his shadow goes all the way up to where he's sitting. Let's just add a little bit more paint. Slightly darker where he's sitting. And the other side of his knee. And then there's a shadow going out onto where he's sitting. So moving back to the lady here, she's got shadow where she's sitting. And so is this one. She's got the addition of a shadow around her hips. Doesn't look much, but it makes a difference. And then there's a dark shadow in between her jeans down to her legs. So they're now standing out a little bit more from the wall. And his shadows are darker at the top than the bottom. I could also put shadow in round her top. And you can keep going forever, but I'm just putting gentle shadows in. And there's a lot of shadow around the front of this lady's top here. So I'm going to add some skin colour to that. Oh, it looks like she's got a grey neck. So now to bring them forward again, I need to put their hair in. So I'm mixing up burnt sienna and a little bit of indigo. To make a darker brown. And I'm starting with the ladies parting. I'm just putting the first coat on. The hair is going to take more than one coat. quite fluffy hair so we're making uneven lines and then her friend's got darker hair so I'll mix the paint a little bit darker in the middle and then pull it out to the lighter paint to make it look circular a bit windswept and a different hairstyle and then the man's hair is lighter again, so I'm going to add a little bit of Indian yellow to the colour. And just take it out from the centre, adding a little bit of shadow at the same time. One side of his face and his head is in shadow. So that's a good start. Now, again... You have to be a bit patient with some of these things it needs to dry so while it's drying i can put in their crab lines which the lady has got a red one they're just like a big letter h or a hash sign and for some reason he's bought a blue one Now while I'm here, I'm going to put another coat of paint on his jeans, just to separate them a bit from the wall. When you're painting, things develop, so sometimes you do need to make some colours stronger. And I'll do the same to her shorts, make them a bit brighter. And this ladies aren't so bright, so I'm just putting colour in the middle and then I'm going to move it out. Now that needs to dry, but the hair has naturally come down over the face, so giving a shadow. 
he needs more of a shadow on one side so I'm going to go back to the flesh tone and just put a second coat on that side and then the lady with the curly hair has now dried a little bit so I'll just add a tiny bit more now if it's a painting that's quite distant that's enough really apart from his shoes which I haven't put on He's got beach shoes. So we just need a little bit of shadow around the legs now they're dry. So I've got the same tone, the Naples yellow and Brazilian crimson. I've just added a little bit of burnt sienna to it. Just going to do one side of the leg using a small brush and the same with this lady here just go down one side a little pencil line and the same with his ankles well she's got a little bit of shading around her knee and the same the other side you just need a little bit of shading. You don't want to do more than that. And then on the top that she's wearing, I think you can add a little bit more tone just to make it balance. So we've now got three people enjoying a summer's day. Now the crab line does go straight down. So what you can do is you could do a pencil line and sheet or you could use a rigger and just go a line all the way down. And we'll put a line down from hers as well. Now I'm going to get the big brush number eight and just stir all the paint together on the palette. Then it'll harmonise and just go over, filling in some of the gaps at the bottom. Because the harbour wall does change colour where the tide goes in and out. Well, it's very simple. All you have to do is to suggest people. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this and that you'll try sketching the newsreader on television soon before you get to the seawall. Thank you for watching.